sister. I think I will. Oh, <laughs> uh, Duchess! <laughs> Dear Harriet, and oh, I uh, didn't see you there. <laughs> oh, Miss Harcourt, please let me introduce you to my fiance, Mr. Cecil. Henry, this is Miss Harcourt. Mr. Cecil's the young man of considerable fortune. Oh, ma. It is a pleasure. <laughs> the pleasure, my dear, is all mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, uh, Henry, we will be going to the assembly this evening. Uh, yes, yes, uh, our carriage is just coming around. Uh, we must be off. Yes, um, will you be joining us? <laughs> Um, I'm afraid I've uh, come to speak to the chaplain, my dear. <laughs> the nuptials are not far off. Yes, quite. Mm. <laughs> well, uh, let's go then. Yes, let's go. And, dear Miss Harcourt, do make yourself at home. Miss Harcourt, from the moment I met you, I have loved you with this devotion. <laughs> awakens in me a love that is too deep for words. <laughs> My dear Miss Harcourt, may I call you... Eliza. Eliza! Of course, dear Henry. Eliza, will you consent to a private union? Of course. Splendid. <laughs> ah, there you are. <laughs> Chaplain of Belfort Manor, Mr. Reed. Yes, Miss Harcourt, the Duchess has praised you highly, but may I say even her praises do you no know justice? <laughs> <laughs> I come to you, sir, to ask you to uh, perform a wedding. Yes, yes, of course. You and Lady Harriet need only name the day. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Uh, Miss Harcourt and I intend to be married. Yes? Thank your pardon. And of course. What am I betrothed? But, Mr. Cecil, you are promised <laughs> to Lady Harriet. <coughs> Whereas I, I am not betrothed <laughs> to another. <laughs> Quite. 
but would it have not been more economical to, say, book passage aboard a commercial vessel uh, rather than purchasing your own 55 gun warship? <laughs> Just so. Uh, let's see. You have an estate of approximately 900 pounds at 5% interest. That should generate an annual income of... 18,000 pounds? <laughs> Beg your pardon? Well, 900 pounds is 5% of 18,000. Oh, you mean to say that the estate is worth 18,000? Well, that's quite a different story. No. Do you mean to say that you've been spending 20 times the entire value of your estate every year? I'm afraid we've only been able to save a trifle. <laughs> you must return to England at once. If you remain here, your creditors will become more dangerous than any 300 armed men. Creditors? <laughs> no, don't tell them how much. Oh, are you ruined? <laughs> I suppose I must 
sell my wardrobe, the last relic of my former glory. Selling your wardrobe, eh? <laughs>
hence no plot holes. <laughs>